Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to a long overdue haul video. I finally had a chance after about three weeks to visit a couple of the local comic shops to pick up my uh, new books that they've been holding for me. Uh, and I have a stack of books in front of me, so we're gonna run through this, and then I'm gonna give you guys an update on a con that I'm going to attend, at least hopefully attend a little bit in, uh, later in October. So, the first book that I have is Extermination number two. I picked up number one uh, and then also read number two, but this shop that I had to go to today actually had a copy for me, so I wanted to show that. They also had a variant edition. I've never seen this one before, but I thought it was a pretty cool cover, so I snagged that as well. This series is off to a pretty good start, and uh, I'm excited about it because it's really a setup for what's going to happen with the new X-Men title that's gonna be coming coming out in November, so super pumped about that. This extermination um, story arc is all about cleaning up the timeline, cleaning up the, uh, the lineups to set the stage for the new X-Men uh, title to appear in November. So super excited about that one, and maybe, just maybe, I will have a video coming out uh, to talk about that in greater detail. The next book is a really cool one. It is a uh, Dale Otto cover. It is amazing. A Spider-Man annual number one. A gorgeous Dale Otto cover. I think I saw this one on Instagram. I didn't quite know what uh, book that it was going to be for, but lo and behold, it was on the annual here for Amazing Spider-Man. Super pumped about this. It is a gorgeous cover. I also have, I, I think this is the regular cover for Amazing Spider-Man annual. This one is, uh, is good, but not not as sexy as that Del Otto that I just showed. Picked up another copy of Amazing Spider-Man number four. Definitely enjoying this, uh, this artwork from Ryan Otley. And I have a couple of copies of number five. Have not read this one, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. Snagged a copy of uh, Return of Wolverine number one. I think that there are what, like nine covers of this thing? I, I didn't get any of those, I just snagged the one. I saw this cover, I was like, that's the one that I'm getting, so super pumped to read that one. Also picked up another copy of Venom number five. Definitely enjoying this story arc. I've already read this one because I picked it up a couple of weeks ago, uh, but this one was, again, at the one shop, they had it for me, so I went ahead and purchased it because it was on the pull list. But then they have uh, number six. This is where the Symbionite gets pumped up with some uh, some artillery, so I'm excited to read this one. It should be a pretty good read. Then I have uh, X-23 number four, a, a gorgeous cover. I mean, that, that cover is, is pretty darn slick. Um, Wow, that's nice. All right, and then next up, Fantastic Four number two. I don't think that I've read this one, but I number one was okay. My hope is that number two is a little bit better than, than the number one. Dan Slott does a pretty good job, so I am uh, excited to continue reading that series. Immortal Hulk is one that started off with a really, really it started off with a bang. I enjoyed uh, number one, number two, and haven't read the rest. I have them, but haven't found the time to read them. But this is number five, gorgeous cover there. And then also have number six, another really awesome cover. So super pumped. Hopefully I'll get a chance to read these uh, sometime soon and uh, understand this remarkable fresh take that Newsarama is saying Immortal Hulk represents. So we'll see. All right. So I had a chance to, to visit my buddy Juan over at Comic, Comic and Figure Addicts. Absolutely love this shop. If you are in the Bay Area, you definitely want to check out Juan's shop. But he, he hipped me to a con that is coming up uh, that I'm hoping that I'll be able to get to. It is the uh, Campbell Comic Con that is taking place at the West Valley College over in Saratoga, California on October 20th. This thing is going from 10 to 5 a.m. He, I'm sorry, 5 p.m. Sorry, he gave me a copy of the flyer and I am hoping that I'll be able to make it by. It should be pretty cool. They have a couple of uh, TV stars that are going, and movie stars that are going to be in attendance. 
I'm not really interested in these guys, but I am interested in checking out some of the vendors that are going to be there with some comic books. So if you are in the area and if you're planning to attend the, uh, the Comic-Con there and you see me, make sure that you say hello. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video and uh, I look forward to chatting with you soon. Take care.